all sorts of fishing videos. Hey, what's up everybody so I'm planning to go fishing this weekend still looking at the, the the weather to determine what I'll do it's forecasted to be blowing about 15 to 25 mile an hour winds coming out of the north northeast ever since posting that video on about catching that Ono or that Wahoo on a on a jig I've been asked you know what jig what type you know and how I rigged it I'm just gonna discuss it in this video Blue what I'll be using American fishing wire AFW uh, 38 pound single strand a pair of pliers that can cut wire crystal metal 3d it's a sinking type it's about five inches long 9 16th of an ounce we're gonna be utilizing the haywire twist and an Albright knot one rod is gonna have 50 feet of 40 pound mono leader that is going to run to a swivel that swivel is going to be connected to a five foot section of 40 pound leader, which is going to then be connected to foot of wire using a Albright knot. And then at the end of that wire, we're going to have our lures connected using the haywire twist. And I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's really streamlined. And the reason why I use a swivel, a lot of times when we catch tuna of any variety, even Kava Kava do it, they like to do circles as we bring them up to the boat and those circles will create line twists. Some people don't use a swivel and they say that they have fine, you know, everything works out great, but I know for a fact that those twists can create black lashes. Anywhere between 12 and 18 inches of this American fishing wire. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Take the eye or the little split ring that we have on there onto the, the nose of the lure and we're going to put our, our wire through that. That way this lure still has all the action it's intended to have. And basically how we're going to tie the haywire twist is it's really simple. So we're going to make a loop like that. All right. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave about, we're gonna leave a small gap in the loop. So we're gonna cross over at almost like a 90 degree angle or 45 degree angle. So it looks like that, right? The common mistake with this knot is that people will wrap the wire around it like a barrel twist. That's, that's not how you wanna tie that. that. That's gonna cause your knot to slip. Is you're just gonna twist. You're gonna twist it, right? And it's almost gonna look like you're braiding, but you're not, you're gonna be twisting. So it's gonna look something like that right there. Let's see if we can get a better view. Once you make those five to seven loops, this is when you're gonna do your, your barrel twist. And basically you're just gonna take the one tag in and wrap it around the main part of the wire. You can do that for three or four times. And basically what that is doing is that that's just securing the knot right there. That's what you want. So now what you want to do is you want to remove that tag in is you don't want to just take your pliers and cut this. That, that's bad business. I will leave the extremely sharp point on the end of this. So what you want to do is you just want to tweak it, tweak it back and forth until it breaks off. That way it won't leave a sharp point and you won't be at risk of cutting yourself while handling this. And it doesn't take long. Now I'm gonna show you how to tie the Albright knot. Take our wire rig that we have. We're gonna take the free end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bend it and make another loop like that. Take our mono leader and then we're gonna go through the top like that. And then we're going to wrap it around about, let's go five times. It'll look like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the tag in and stick it right back through the top. Right? Then you're just going to pull it tight. Right? You're going to bite the or you're going to pull both ends. Understand that knot is not going anywhere. You're going to clip the tag in as close as you can. You end up with a clean knot. 
and you can rub your hand up and down this you won't have to worry about getting poked or anything we got our Yuzuri crystal minnow attached to a 38 pound wire with a haywire twist 12 to 14 inches of wire and then you're going to come across your all bright knot and then five foot of your 40 pound leader and then this part is going to be tied with a uni knot to your swivel whatever bites this is coming in the boat Got your lure ready and prepped for whenever you need it.